Microsoft has just released their new IT support certificate, beginning a competition with Google in the process. Now, this is actually huge news, and I do think that it's about to change everything, because up until this point, everyone has taken the Google course for one reason, and it's because it's been the only option available. But Microsoft is even more famous when it comes to IT support. I mean, what company do you think of when you think of IT support? And I've already reviewed each of these courses, so in this video I'm just going to focus on comparing them against each other. Is the Microsoft or is the Google support certificate better on Coursera? In this video I'm not going to accept any compromises and I will assume that we can only take one certificate, not take both of them. So let's just get started. Now we're starting with a quick introduction to the course and Google's course has been around a long time and it has over 1.4 million enrollments. So I do think that it was about time for Microsoft to join the space. Now this one is for complete beginners and it is expected to take learners around six months at 10 hours a week. But from my experience, most people do complete it way faster, usually around two to three months from what I've seen. The goal is to teach you common IT skills and fast track you to a career in IT. So even if you don't want to become an IT support specifically, you can still use these skills for many different IT jobs and it's going to be a very useful thing to learn. I do think that it's important because people think that it's only for IT support jobs, but once you leave this kind of, once you have this solid foundation, you can do a lot of different things. And, and IT jobs are usually very high paying. So I do think that it's a very good investment of your time, generally speaking, even if you don't specifically want to work in IT support. Now let's talk about Microsoft's course, and this one is beginner level as well, but it's three months at 10 hours a week. So it's about half of the Google course, which is a very significant time difference, which we'll talk about more later. Now we're gonna look at the differences and we're gonna start with the curriculum right away. I don't wanna waste any time, let's jump right into it. Now Google has five different courses in total, and the first one is gonna teach you about IT fundamentals, and then we have a course about networking, You'll also cover operating systems, system administration, and finally, IT security. I do think that course five is especially important right now because IT security is a huge field and with all sorts of new threats due to AI. Now, let's take a look at the Microsoft cert. And here, there are actually six courses, even though it's significantly shorter than Google's one, so they are way more concise. And as I'm recording this, all of the courses are not released yet, but we're going to see that soon. The first one is an introduction to computers, and then you'll talk about networking, exactly like in the Google course, and it then moves over to hardware, software, and data backup. And of course, they talk a little bit about security as well. And so far, the courses that I've seen have been very, very similar. I don't know if you remember the curriculum that I showed you, but the curriculum is literally the same thing as Google, just in Microsoft's own way. But here's where it actually gets interesting, and things do change in the curriculums. The next course is called Microsoft 365 Ecosystem, and you'll get introduced to all sorts of Microsoft productivity tools and different applications. And I don't think that it's a surprise that they're teaching you their own tools, but I also want to highlight that Microsoft tools are very popular amongst companies. I usually complain when companies only use their own tools, but again, for Google and Microsoft, it's completely reasonable. And that's also one of the reasons why they're making the course to promote their own tools and products. The Google course will, of course, focus on their own products as well. And I don't think that it's a huge deal. You can learn all of these things if you do learn one. For example, if you learn spreadsheets, you can obviously learn Excel as well. They do share many, many things. But I do think that it's important to keep this in mind. If you specifically want to focus on Microsoft tools, you should probably focus on the Microsoft course. Now, the last course in the program is just about troubleshooting. And that's pretty much it for the curriculums in simple form, at least. Now, there is one thing that we haven't really mentioned, and it's really important as well. And that is when you do complete the Google program, you will receive a final certificate from Coursera and from Google. And it's exactly the same as with Microsoft. You'll receive a certificate as well. But Microsoft actually offers you something else. And this is where it gets interesting because this course actually helps you prepare for the MS900 Microsoft certification. Now this one is official and it's by Microsoft. And basically what you do is that you go to a test center or you do it online and you take a formal exam where you're watched by a proctor. I do think that it's about 90 minutes or an hour. I'm not completely sure, but usually they're around that range. And this one is also called Microsoft 365 Fundamental Certification. So when you're done with this one, you can put it on your resume that you're officially Microsoft 365 
fundamentals certified. Now the cost is going to be around $99 because it's not available on Coursera. It's not a part of the same thing, but you will actually get a 50% discount if you do decide to take it because you've actually completed the course on Coursera. So they will give you a voucher which you can bring to your certification exam. I also want to emphasize that they will sometimes change the prices depending on your region. So if you're located outside the US or in some other place, you might want to check if the prices are adapted to you. And the question that you probably have is whether you should take it or not. And I do think that it's completely up to you. It's not a super advanced certification, but it will demonstrate your basic ability to work with Microsoft tools. And for that reason, if you are looking for jobs that can focus on these things, it might be worth getting it. Now, here's my final conclusion. And Microsoft One, it definitely hasn't been around very long. It's not even fully released. And for that reason, it is going to be very hard to make a clear statement which one is better. I know that I did promise you guys that, but it's just very hard to do when the course isn't fully available yet. Both courses have received excellent reviews, which makes it even harder. And curriculum wise, they are extremely similar. The main difference is that you'll work with Microsoft or Google's tools and more companies, I would say, tend to use Microsoft tools. So if you're looking to directly get a job and, you know, show that you have the skills, it might be a better option. But Google is also very popular and you can learn all of the things if you know the basics. If I was getting started, what I would do is I would just try Microsoft's course. And if you don't like the way that it's made, you can just go back to the proven tested Google program. And I'm going to leave a link to the courses in the description, including any ongoing discounts. Thank you for watching and I wish you good luck on your IT support journey.